Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. With the business is, it's your girl, Bri. I come with a quick little message to you guys. My message to you guys is do not pick up God when you're going through things and your back is against the wall. And then after he answers your prayers, you want to drop him and go back to your old ways. After he had done help you financially, he didn't heal you from your sickness. He got you that promotion. He didn't gave you probation instead of that prison time. He didn't save your marriage. He didn't save your children. Uh, some of y'all disregarded him, disregarded the only person who has kept you from the same people that turned around and hurt you. That same, that same person that keeps you stuck and stagnant. God is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. You cannot just play with him and treat him like he's nothing. Hey, hush. He is a jealous God. Psalms 1, wait, Psalms, uh, Psalms 119 and 2 says, Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with their whole heart. Not getting what you need from him and then dropping him like he's nothing. God is a jealous God. God is a jealous God. God God takes care of his people. If God is doing something for you, God has ever done something for you. Why would you want to turn your back on someone who has got you out of sticky situation? Why would you turn your back on someone who is loyal to you? Why would you want to hurt someone? Why would you want to belittle someone? Why would you want to give up on someone who has not gave up on you? You see, God is not like us people. He don't turn your back on you. He don't give up on you. He keep fighting for you because he know what's best for you. A lot of y'all gave up on God because somebody hurt you because you have been let go on a job because your relationship didn't work out because this happened this way because that happened that way. A lot of y'all let go and let God go. You understand? Because of that situation. But you kept those toxic people in your life. You kept them people that hurt you. You kept them people that betrayed you. But you allowed God to leave out of your life. Some of y'all turn y'all back on on God. And that's all y'all got. Because you think the people that you got around you is for you. But the people that you got around you is selling you short. But you gave up on the man with the plan. You gave up on the man who makes sure you arise every morning. You gave up on the man who makes sure your kidneys is functioning. You made, you gave up on the man who can cure you, can cure you from that cancer. You gave up on a man that could cure you from any disease. You gave up on a man that keeps your children. You gave up on a man that when you called on, he opened up the windows of heaven and poured you out a blessing that you ain't have room to receive. I need to understand this. How you can give up on a man who laid down his life for you, who's still seeing about you. Even though you gone and you distant from him, he still love you. He still save you. He's still stepping in on your behalf. He's still working things out for you because he loves you and he wants you to know that he loves you and that he's keeping you i'm not trying to understand why you keep picking god up and then dropping him off once you get what you what you get once you get what you need from him you don't do that to god the god we serve he loves you he's an on-time god but he's a jealous god at that put nothing before him put no other idol put nothing before him seek him while he shall be found you understand what i'm saying knock on his door whatever it is that you're standing in need of just like before you found yourself with your back against the wall and you asked God to help you and he showed up and showed out in your situation. When he, this, this time, when you're going through this storm and this test and all this that you're going through, when he show up and show out in this situation, don't turn your back on him. Don't turn your, don't give up on him. You understand what I'm saying? Because some of y'all got yourself wrapped up, tangled up, tied up in some things that you ain't had no business tied up in. But you praying and you asking God to save you. And by his grace, in his mercy, he is saving you. But he's not saving you for you to give up. He's saving you because he got an assignment for you. You see, God knows what he called you to do. So that's why he's sparing you. You know, all them times you did all kind of stuff, but God still spared you. You know, when you had got high, and you was drunk and on them pills and all the rest of it. And you made your way home safe. That's because God spared you. Because he had assignment for you to do. You understand what I'm saying? So this time you done got yourself in something serious. And you're calling on this name. And he coming to your rescue. Because he got assignment for you to do. For assignment for you to do. Don't miss, dismiss the assignment that he has for you. When he turn it around for you this time. All praises go to him. Don't turn your back on him. Don't give up on the one that this is giving in to you. Don't hurt the one that's coming through for you. God is supplying all your needs, everything you need. Some of y'all, y'all was on this thing from letting them people, letting you go on your job. But God, you understand what I'm saying? Some of y'all was stealing from y'all job and God spared you. But God.
Some of, y- some of y'all was doing all kind of stuff out here in the streets and God gave you probation instead of that prison time. Some of y'all out here was robbing and doing all the rest of that stuff, but God saved you. You understand? Some of y'all children was out here playing in guns, robbing people, pulling guns out on people and everything, but God saved your children where they wouldn't kill or nothing out here in these streets. And instead, once God saved your children, once God do what he would, he asked what you asked him to do. Once he fixed the situation from you, you forget about him. You turn your back on him. Now nah, that's not what we doing. We stand firm and on what we believe. You see, because God makes a way out of no way for you. And somebody somewhere needs to realize, baby, how much God been keeping you and how much God been keeping your children. Only you know what you've been doing. Only you know what your children been doing. But what I know, what I know. Is that God is a jealous God and you can't discard him. You can't ask him to do something for you and then discard him after he do it. I don't know who this message is for or who needs to hear it, but it's coming from me, your girl, Bree. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.